Today, we'll be showing you how to monitor, clean, and optimize Linux with Stacer. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. Are you looking for ways to optimize your Linux system and get it to run faster? There are plenty of ways and tools for you to do so. And Stacer includes everything you need to monitor, clean, and optimize your Linux installation. Let's see how it works. On Ubuntu, you can install Stacer with the following. Fans of Arch will have to turn to AUR for its installation. On Fedora and Red Hat, you can download Stacer's RPM file from its release pages and then install it with the following. It's probably easier though to use DNF. After its installation completes, you can find it among the rest of your installed software and launch it or use the Stacer command in a terminal. Stasis interface offers about a dozen different pages accessible through an icon list on the left of its window. The first page, which greets you when you first run Stacer, represents real-time information about your CPU, memory, disk, and bandwidth use. Those are accompanied by static information about your system, like your hostname and kernel on the bottom left corner. Are your CPU, memory, and disk utilization too high? Well, then you probably need to visit the rest of Stasis pages for some maintenance. The second page with a rocket icon allows you to manage startup applications after you log in into your desktop. You can also add new applications that you would like to start automatically using the blue add startup app button on the bottom right of the window. In our case, this window didn't display anything because we didn't have any applications starting automatically. The services page accessible through the fifth icon with the two gears is similar in that it allows you to enable or disable stuff that starts automatically. Instead of applications though, as its title states, it's dealing with services. You can use the two pull down menus on the top to have the list display only active or inactive services and use the two switches on the right of each service to enable or disable it. The first switch controls whether the service will start automatically. The second allows you to start and stop services at will. Please make sure that you know what each service you are disabling does. Some are crucial for the OS itself being operational. With Stacer, it's easy to recover some of your previous storage taken up by useless files. Visit Stacer's third page, System Cleaner with the brush icon. Enable what you'd like the program to clean by clicking on the check mark icon underneath each category. Alternatively, to enable all cleanup types, click on Select All on the bottom of this page. Click on the button with the magnifying glass to have Stacer locate those useless files. After a while, Stacer will present a report. Check the results and select what you want to delete by clicking on the check mark to the left of each entry. Like before, there's also a Select All option on the bottom left of the list to mark everything for cleanup in one click. We suggest you go through the list though, as it could contain a log or package you may want to keep. To delete everything in Stacer's system cleaner list, click on the big blue circular button with the brush on the bottom left of the window. The seventh icon will bring you to Stacer's uninstaller page, where you can remove installed packages. If you're also using snap packages, Stacer will list them in a secondary list, accessible from a button on the top left. It also offers a search function on the top right to help you locate specific packages. To uninstall a package, select it by clicking on the check mark on its left, then click on the uninstall selected button at the bottom center of the window. Note that you can also select multiple packages. Skip two icons, and if you click on the 10th icon with a row approximation of a filing cabinet, you'll meet Stacer's APT Respiratory Manager. You can control all of your software sources from this spot. Like with the previous pages, you can enable or disable repository by clicking on the switch icon on the right of its entry. Two buttons to the bottom left allow you to edit or delete the selected entry. An add repository button on the right allows you to extend it with more repositories. When you want to try to quit Stacer, it will ask if you want to minimize it in the system tray. Since it eats more resources than top in a terminal or on a desktop panel widget for monitoring your system, we find no reason to keep Stacer running in the background. 
Stacer offers you control of even more aspects of your system. Still, we consider those to be more important for cleaning up and maintaining your distribution in working condition. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.